Licking the beaters is the best part of making cookies. Do you love cookies? Do you love big, bold, beautiful cookies? Well, today on All Day I Dream About Food, we're making big, bold, beautiful keto cowboy cookies. This recipe comes out of my cookbook, The Ultimate Guide to Keto Baking. It is one of the most popular recipes in the book and people love it. They make it all the time and they tell me it's their favorite. So today on All Day I Dream About Food, I'm gonna show you how to make them. Now this recipe makes a lot of cookies. It makes 24 large cookies. So we are going to just do a half batch today. So I'm going to start with six tablespoons of well-softened butter. And now we're gonna add some sweetener. Now I like these cookies with a brown sugar replacement, but to make them more crisp, it has to be one that's really just erythritol based. Any amount of allulose or xylitol will make it so that the cookies don't crisp up properly. So today I'm using pure cane brown sugar replacement and I've got half a cup and two tablespoons here. And we're gonna beat those together until nice and fluffy, about two minutes. And once you've got your butter and your sweetener nice and fluffy, you can add one room temperature egg and three quarter teaspoon vanilla extract. Just beat those in until well combined. And just make sure you always scrape the bottom and make sure you're getting all the butter mixed in well with the egg. And once that's all nicely combined, we can add our dry ingredients. I have one cup of almond flour and I'm adding one tablespoon of grass-fed gelatin. This just gives the cookies a little bit more chew along with the crispiness, but if you don't have it, you can skip it. Then we're adding three quarters of a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda. It sounded like I was like from Minnesota there, soda. And about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now this is where you get to add in some tasty additions. Conventional cowboy cookies usually take oatmeal, but we're going to use flaked coconut and I have half a cup. And we're going to add half a cup of chopped pecans or pecans and half a cup of sugar-free chocolate chips. Now, I always like to save a few for the tops of the cookies. So I'll put most of them in there. Ooh, maybe too, too many in there. Get them out. And we'll just stir those in together. Now look at this cookie dough. This is jam-packed with goodness. Check it out. So what we do next is we make nice, big, two-inch or so balls with our hands, and you're gonna get 12 of these. So if you want, you can just divide it into 12 and then roll it into balls from there. Try to get it nice and even. Now make sure you're using a nice large baking sheet because these do spread a little, so you wanna give them plenty of room. Now you're going to press them down a little bit, not too much because again, they spread. So you're gonna use the palm of your hand and press them down to about three quarters, half an inch thick. I'm going for the three quarters. Now we wanna take our remaining chocolate chips and just press them into the top. Now our cookies are ready for the oven. They go in at 325 and I don't remember how long because I haven't made them in a while. So I'm gonna look at my book. They go in for 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, until the edges of the cookies are golden brown. There we go. Okay guys, I told you these are big beautiful cookies and these are big beautiful cookies. Look at those. They are perfect, they did. I, I gave them as much space as I possibly could. They kind of ran into each other a little, but they're still gonna be delicious. So I've let them cool for about half an hour, which you know you need to do, and we're gonna try one. Ooh, which one do I want? Okay, look at that. It has crispy edges and a chewy center, and we're gonna give it a taste. Oh, look how nicely it breaks open. Now that is an awesome keto cookie. <laughs> Your face. For this delicious keto cookie recipe and so many more, grab a copy of my book, The Ultimate Guide to Keto Baking, or check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.